Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the final episode of Going Under, and that's because... WWF went out of business. The World Wrestling Federation announced that they were closing today, blaming mounting financial problems. So let's take, let's take a, a nice look at what I've done for this promotion. How do I do that? How do I do... I wanna... I... I... I know that I can do that somehow. Um, hold on. I can do this. Okay. So, type. First of all, all years. Um, results for WWF. Okay. So, we'll get, let's, uh, let's get right into it. But let's, like... Okay. From this point on, which is when I cancelled uh, the TV shows. So by this point, I had 35 fans, whereas I started with 300 people. Oh, because I started in a local arena, okay. Local arena. 27 people. 35 people. 47 people. Let's, let's check out the results of SummerSlam. So 4,000 people went to see SummerSlam. And they saw the Fabulous Rougeaus defeating Chris Jericho and Barry Horowitz, Randy Savage winning the Heavyweight and Intercontinental titles, and Judy Martin winning the WWF Women's Championship. Then, the next month, they saw Saturday Night's main event. 950 people were there to see Judy Martin defeat Rock and Robin. The next week, Bad News Brown and Mr. Perfect defeated the Fabulous Rougeaus, and uh, Randy Savage defeated Barry Horowitz. Uh, at Survivor Series, Jericho and Horowitz defeated the Fabulous Rougeaus for the WWF Tag Team titles, and the Warlord defeated Jacques Rougeau, and Randy Savage defeated Bad News Brown, Chris Jericho, Barry Horowitz, and Slick, and in the main event, Judy Martin defeated Rock and Robin. Next week, Rock and Robin defeated Judy Martin for the WWF Women's title, regaining it. Big John said in Bad News, Braun defeated Chris Jericho and Lance Storm for the WWF Tag Team titles. Jericho then defeated Lance Storm. At the Royal Rumble, Big John Studd defeated Bad News Brown, then Bad News Brown and Big John Studd defeated Bushwhacker Butch and Brutus Beef Beefcake, and the Red Rooster defeated Chris Jericho to become the WWF Heavyweight and Intercontinental title, title, not title, the champion. And then in its final run, its final show, Bad News Brown and Big John Studd retained their tag team titles and Bad News Brown and Red Rooster fought for the heavyweight and intercontinental titles making Bad News Brown the last champion of everything so that'll do it for this season of Going Under this was a season wrap up I got it one week or yeah one week before TW2016 came out I did it it took me a while but I did it and for the next season, I don't know if I'm going to continue in this database or move to a more current one or move to TW2013. Uh, to in TW2013, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, harder to kill a company, but I'm going to try. So you tell, you tell me what I should do for the next season uh, of, of Going Under, which will happen at some point. I don't know when. It could, be, it could be tomorrow. It could be next week. It could be next month. It could be next year. It could be an April Fool's video. You never know. Um, so that was the end of this season it's kind of abruptly I didn't expect it to end between episodes which is why you didn't get a Wrestlemania I didn't get a Wrestlemania uh, so if you enjoyed this video leave a like let me know what you, what you thought in the comments below what I could have done differently to speed it up or slow it down um, subscribe if you want to see more I do other series where I, I, I book correctly like G um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!